guys, James here, and welcome back to my sixth episode now in my Road to Glory on Free Fulmer team on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, today we start the episode off by opening our, um, uh, what is this, this is our sort of reward pack for buying the Champions Edition, um, it's just a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack I think, so some nice stuff in there. I didn't get anyone crazy, got a few consumables though that would be decent to add to the club. Um, for future stuff and um, yeah get some good coins in from that and uh, but yeah not nothing crazy unfortunately and then you see me here going into my first game on division or sorry in division 8 um, coming off over against the full goal team a few good players in there but nothing um, too special and uh, didn't take us long in this game and we do actually score this beauty uh, to go 3 nil up with Aaron Ramsey uh, just on the stroke of 30 minutes in this game and um, as you'll see coming up in the second that is enough for this guy and uh, he was out of here straight away he goes to kick off pauses it and uh, you always know what that is when that happens he's, uh, he's gone so yeah rage quit the first game given division 8 and uh, yeah, that was a very nice start for that only pick up 268 coins which isn't amazing but what can you do and then yeah, see we need 15 points to win this division now, so the points are starting to go up, so uh, that's going to start making it a bit harder, but we should be able to be alright. And uh, this game, unfortunately I forgot to click record at the start of this one, so you don't get to see this guy's team, but it wasn't too special I don't think. Um, a bit similar to the last guy where he had all gold, an old gold team, but not full chemistry and stuff like that, so yeah, uh, that was the first goal we scored with Ethan Acho. Um, and then I skip this now to his equaliser in the 62nd minute with uh, Lanzini and um, yeah well basically what happened was I went 2-0 up he pulled it back to 2-0 uh, um, yeah 60th minute and then you shall see now I, uh, I subbed on Aguero, um, Vinicius Jr and Ishmael I was using at the minute for my midfield sub and each student skips around that person, does like a big touch, which I didn't do, he done it himself and jumped over the player, which is nice. And um, yeah, slotted that in the bottom corner in the 90th minute, so it was nice to get the win. And um, yeah, there's a couple of games coming up later on in the episode as well, similar to that one where the subs make a massive difference, and I can't emphasize enough. I'll go, I'll, yeah, I'll talk about it a little bit more later, but I can't emphasize enough. You need to have some subs to bring on. What I do is I have two, um, two fast, quick and half decent at shooting sort of attacking players to bring on for um, my front three um, or obviously two of my front three that are the most tired or that I'm not enjoying in that game and um, I've also bought Leroy Fur from Swansea who's an all round beast um, for the midfield to um, just sort of have some more energy in that midfield area. And yeah, I couldn't recommend that enough because the amount of times that changes games for me, um, like you'll see later on, it is big. But um, yeah, this game, this guy had a really quite a good team on paper. Um, but yeah, we um, quite an easy one. Ended up being about 6 2 or 3, was that? And uh, yeah, Lucas Perez getting that last goal in that game. And uh, yeah, he's not bad, he's a good finisher, Perez and uh, he's got decent enough um, pace and dribbling in that but his shot is definitely a standout attribute and uh, I would recommend him if you're building a Premier League team as we got our third win in a row in Division 8 which is very nice indeed and then what you see me do here is uh, complete all of the uh, marquee matchups for this week and uh, we'll open all the packs and um, yeah these are quite easy these ones again bronze packs you need to be doing that as well guys after every game it's what I do buy bronze pack save all the players um, and yeah that one was easy that was just I think it was two or three players from Syria and three Italians so depending on what you've got in your club you can do that for cheap because the rest you can do bronze this one also if you've got lucky in bronze packs you could possibly have two Greek players from the Hellas Liga in there I used a gold goalkeeper and a silver player that I bought for another SBC for 150 and uh, yeah, the rest was bronze um, 
apart from two Hellas League players actually, which I already had in the club. So you could have done that one a bit cheaper than I did, but yeah, it all depends what you've got in the club and uh, what you can get off the market. Now this Barcelona, um, who is it? Barcelona or Valencia, that's it. Uh, that was quite a very easy one as well, really. All you needed was one Barcelona or Valencia player and a full goal score pretty much. Um, I managed to get one bronze in there, take it a bit cheaper. But yeah, that one was very easy as well. Um, you should have one of those players in your club from Valencia Barcelona if you've been saving players. Um, and then this last one, PSG Leon, I also had the PSG goalie in my club. Um, so that was nice, so you only need one of them. And then that one was all gold, no rating. So you have I done the, all of the right side of the team um, to get the chemistry from the French League one. All the players are bought for sort of maximum 400 points, so it's cheap. And then the left, just two Spanish and a random left back to uh, get the three leagues in that. But we start off this first silver players pack, I believe this is. We pick up a silver from Syria, which is nice, and then a couple of sort of rubbish ones, really. But there's also a PSG silver in there, which uh, could become handy at some point if you were, uh, if there is ever a league SBCs or something like that, or even another PSG. Um, squad and build a challenge where you might the silver might be as handy as a gold um, and then that is a that's just a regular mixed players pack and uh, yeah again all these players considering how cheap that marquee matchups was all these players going back in the club will just be able to rinse them through next week's four other SPCs and just make so many coins back from it in uh, in an indirect way so to speak and then um, this was a Giambo gold pack by looking a bit. Um, so you get yeah, two rares in there, or three rares in there, shall I say. And uh, we do get the Mansion IC kid actually for a away kit, shall I say. And then we do end up selling that later on because that's quite obviously a popular team. My team that I support, not having a great time with it at the minute, but uh, yeah, it's ups and downs of the early club. And um, yeah. A lot of players and a lot of contracts which is good because the uh, gold contracts are quite expensive I'm sort of saving them up using all the bronze contracts I can at the moment to uh, get by until I have to start using them on uh, better players that I want to keep for a longer time shall I say and then uh, yeah send this player to transfer list unfortunately spoiler for this last pack we don't get anyone good really in these packs but um can't get disheartened you've got to keep doing these uh, marquee matchups and um, eventually you'll hit something pretty big that's almost a guarantee if you're doing them all the time just law of averages if you're doing loads of um, opening loads of packs at some point you're going to get something half decent and then uh, yeah here is me showing you a load of stuff we've sold so these are a load of those bronze contracts um, Something that does sell really well from the bronze packs this year is the uh, the training items. Pretty much all of them, no matter what they are, for players, not goalies, the goalie ones don't really sell. But um, yeah, all of the player ones go for at least sort of 600 coins and above. So if you get one of them in, your, in a bronze pack, it's instant profit. And uh, some of them can go for over a thousand, as you might have seen some of them there. And then, yeah, just a few gold players that I've picked up, which um, their lowest. Um, cost and then selling one for a bit more so that's a nice bit of profit here and there and then now I believe this is the fourth game um, of Division 8 and there is an unbelievable goal you'll see in this don't quite know how it's scored and it's actually scored by uh, my opponent but um, you see here this is the first goal in the game it goes to us we pull it back to our new signing Josh King who we picked up for about 900 coins great little striker um, 88 pace decent dribbling he's got four star skills as well um, and yeah he's just a good he's quite big as well so he's a bit of a target man but um, yeah this goal here he's, uh, he's got it there with Jonas and then somehow he just absolutely walloped that top bins across my keeper um, I thought he took a deflection but it didn't goalie I don't know just really weird one to be honest I've never never seen a goal quite like that and uh, again he gets another one 
we were already up 4-2 at this point, so this made it 4-3, but just an absolute bang. I don't know whether these are tight finishes, that's why they're flying in, but fair play to the guy, he was banging them in with Jonas, who has got good shooting to be fair. And then uh, a similar goal to our first one with Josh King playing it across and he's there to just get there before the keeper and stop that under under the keeper on the 73rd minute. And then, yeah, that was how that one ended, 5-3. So although this guy scored some decent goals, we do come away with a 5-3 win. 518 points, very nice indeed. And uh, yeah, up to 12 points now, so we only need one more win. Now, look at this team, guys. Anderson, Talisco in there, Hulk, Oscar, or no, not Oscar, Hernandez, um, Chalvin, or Blue, Benaventura, uh, Juan Jesus in the centre back. And uh, yeah, this guy was good at the game. And uh, he starts the game off, all sort of bobbling around my area, I couldn't get rid of it. And uh, yeah, falls to Anderson, Talisco, and he whips out with, I believe, his stronger left foot into the top bins. And uh, that's a very nice finish with him, fair play. But then straight away from uh, kickoff, almost breaking forward here, Lucas Perez. I actually did mean to do a, um, a low driven here, but I accidentally chip, chipped it instead, and it managed to go in. So it's quite fortunate. But I probably would have scored the low driven anyway if it was on that. But that was nice to get back into the game. But uh, further on now, about 65th minute, uh, Talisco again with another great left footed shot. Um, and this was there. Yeah, this was a tough game, and this is the first one of the last two in this episode where I can't show you enough how good the subs are for me. Literally, you see them in the clip at the start of that clip. They come into the game, and Leroy for up from midfield, banging that header in, and uh, yeah, to all that was how this one ended against a very very solid opponent with his um, decent goal team, and yeah got to have some subs guys you just really really got to especially in the online play it just helps you out so much and gives you that little boost when all their players or most of all their defenders in midfield are uh, getting tired you can bring them on and it's just like it's almost like cheating it's like it, play, it feels like with the players because they're so fast and just good on the ball but then this is probably the best team we've come up against so far he's got Jekyll up front um, all day, Diaw, uh, who was the left wing, I can't remember the left wing, but he's got Champions League um, player in, uh, in the midfield as well. And yeah, just a solid Serie A team. And he does actually, as you'll see here, just on the stroke of the 60th minute, he's running through and I, uh, I was, couldn't switch to the player I wanted to and uh, get over to stop him. But So he whips that in with Keita Balde. And uh, yeah, I was struggling to get the ball into the net, but uh, we make a sub straight away as soon as he scored that goal. And uh, I'd actually switch my, switched my subs up at this point because of where I was loan had run out. Um, I didn't like that Ashmaili, the left back from Shakhtar, when I was using him in the midfield. Um, obviously, that's yeah, that's why I bought him for. So my subs for this game was um, uh, he's called Avils Hurtado, plays for uh, I believe it's Monterrey in the Mexican league. Um, and he's fast and decent shooting um, and then also Giovinco who we packed a couple of episodes ago I think and then yeah Fur for the midfield and um, yeah in this that Hurtado guy he, he scored a goal and set up the other three as we uh, yeah you see there we got our third goal to go 3-2 up all after the uh, 60th minute or 65th I say and uh, it's just yeah goes to show what subs can do for our completely turned the game around for me and uh, this one was a great little goal played a through ball through to uh, Hurtado and he gets there just before the keeper to chip it over to uh, Giovinco to slot it in I just love the way it dinked over the goalie there and uh, yeah set him up perfectly couldn't miss that one and uh, yeah if you haven't got subs get them just any players they don't have to pick your team they just can be subs so they come on and uh, yeah we pick up the win to take us through and win the uh, Div 8 title now, pick up 4,000 coin bonus for that which is very nice indeed and uh, carry on our streak of always winning the divisions that we've uh, played in so that's decent and then uh, yeah this is just a quick squad update 
Um, a lot of the same defence, but we've picked up Joe Bryan for 600 coins um, in the left back spot, and he's great. Um, who else have we got? We've got Isquero now and Josh King up front, like I said. There you would have seen my subs. Um, I think that's probably just about it. Also, I've got I swapped out the Arme for the Brighton German Pascal Gross, who is a very decent player. He's got four star skills, four star weak foot, very high stamina, and a just yeah, decent shooting and passing. A bit slow, but you can get around that. And then uh, yeah, this is just me showing a load of sold stuff now. And uh, yeah, well, what have we got here? Yeah, this lure that was a Lerma that I picked up for a minimum 650 and I think he sold for 1500 which was unbelievable in the end but yeah thanks for watching guys this video is coming to the end now um, if you could like subscribe that would be very much appreciated and uh, leave any comments of anything you'd want to know or find out and uh, video ideas and uh, also yeah twitter in the description as uh, my competition still going on to win the uh, Nintendo eShop voucher but yeah thanks for watching guys I shall see you in the next one enjoy Saturday see you later